Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about Mexican free-tailed bat. Mexican free-tailed bats can fly 47 miles per hour, one colony can contain millions of Mexican free-tailed bats. They are carnivores eating dozens of insects each evening. These bats are the most common type found in Texas. Female bats give birth to one baby, also called a pup. They can live up to 18 years. Incredible Mexican free-tailed bat facts This bat has a tail that measures half the length of its body Moths are the main prey of these bats A mother bat finds her baby in a crowded roost by its sounds and scent Their pattern of migration is to move south before the winter season arrives They can instantly change direction while in flight Mexican free-tailed bat scientific name Tatarita brasiliensis is the scientific name of the Mexican free-tailed bat Tatarita comes from the Greek word lactarita which means bat Brasiliensis refers to Brazil. This bat goes by other names including the Brazilian free-tailed bat, the guano bat, and the mastiff bat. The name guano bat refers to the abundant amount of droppings left behind by these bats. Mastiff bat refers to the similarity between this bat's face and the face of a mastiff dog. They belong to the Molossidae family and the class Mammalia. There are nine subspecies of this bat. This group includes Tatarita brasiliensis antiullarum Tatarita brasiliensis bahamensis Tatarita brasiliensis constanze Tatarita brasiliensis sinocephala Tatarita brasiliensis intermedia Tatarita brasiliensis mexicana Tatarita brasiliensis marina Tatarita brasiliensis muscula Tatarita brasiliensis brasiliensis Mexican free-tailed bat appearance and behavior. This bat has dark brown fur on its body with black fur on its head, face, and ears. Their large ears and small dark eyes have earned them the nickname, Mastiff Bat. Some people think that this bat's face looks like a Mastiff dog's face. Like other bats, the Mexican free-tailed bat has two wings of elastic skin. Look at a bat's wings closely and you'll see it has arms and fingers. It has a wingspan of 11 inches. This bat's tail extends a few inches beyond what's known as the tail membrane. In most other species of bat, the tail is hidden inside the membrane with none of it sticking out. The most important defensive feature of this bat is its speed. It can fly at speeds of 47 miles per hour or more giving it a good chance of getting away from a predator. In fact, these bats are sometimes referred to as the jets of the bat world because of their speed. Learn about the world's fastest animals here. Also, their dark fur can help them to hide among the trees in their habitat. Bats have been known to fly together in large groups. This is another way they protect themselves from predators. If a hawk or an owl is in the area, the predator can only grab one bat from the group. This gives the rest of the group the chance to fly away. Or, the predator may be so overwhelmed by the sheer number of bats, it simply moves off without attacking. Bats in a colony communicate with one another via chirps, clicks, songs, and even screeches. They most likely have a warning sound if there's a predator in the vicinity. With all of those chirping sounds, can you imagine how noisy it is in a bat colony? Because of their small size, these bats are shy and prefer to stay out of sight of both people and other animals. Mexican free-tailed bat habitat. These bats live in North and South America. Specifically, they live in the southern part of the United States. They have a very large population in Texas. Also, they live in Mexico, Central America, Brazil, Chile, and Argentina. They live in temperate to semi-arid climates. Not only do these bats live in caves, they also make their homes under bridges, in tunnels and even in the attics of homes. Normally, these bats live near a body of water whether it's a lake, stream or river. The water is attractive to insects which makes hunting for prey easier for this bat. Also, bats will drink from a nearby water source. Migration takes place just before the cold weather sets in. Specifically, these bats fly south to live in caves in Mexico. Their migration pattern has these bats heading back north in the early months of the year. People in Texas have spotted Mexican free-tailed bats flying around in February. They are returning to find shelter, mate and have their pups. Mexican free-tailed bat population. There are between 120 and 150 million Mexican free-tailed bats in existence. They are especially plentiful in Texas. In San Antonio, Texas there's a place called Bracken Cave. Colonies of 20 million bats live in these caves. 
Groups of bats fly out of the caves forming thick black columns in the air. The groups are so large they may even appear on the radar of a nearby airport. The conservation status of this bat is least concern. Its population is stable.